Proud means to me that be proud of who you are, where you come from. Successful means to me that doing your best to achieve things in life. Committed means trying your best and never giving up to succeed. The birth of the Boys House in particular came from a lot of experience working with young youth age kids around that 14, 15, 16 age bracket. One of the concerning elements was that a lot of the kids were dropping out year 10, year 11 without actually completing school. We thought that we might be able to address that by us trying to create an environment that young people wanted to be at. <laughs> Leaving home's got to be massively difficult and a lot of courage to do so. You've only just got to think about what it'd be like. It'd be really tough, particularly when you come from a culture where it's all about family. Ninety-five percent of our students are students that live too far away from a secondary high school. We would have 35 Indigenous communities represented all at both houses. My name's Regan Bowie, I'm 17, and I'm from Bardo Island. I've been here since grade seven. When I first started high school, I was a very like troubled kid. I didn't know much English, so it was a bit difficult, but it helped me with my language. We all have trauma at different levels and many of our young people have a basketball in their belly that is upsetting and making them feel anxious. Whether it be about going to school, whether it be about leaving home and coming to boarding, it could be a number of different things. So I just see that footy is something that young people can enjoy doing, that has so many benefits to them around teamwork, resilience. If you can build some success through that, it then opens the doors at the end as well. My name is Hilda, I am 15 and I am from Laura in Cape York. The best thing about playing footy is playing with the girls. You live together, you play together, basically you're like sisters. I think being at AFL Cape York House will help me. I really want to play for AFLW. Why not? completing or graduating from year 12 or leaving high school with a, a, a job. The statistics around not achieving any of those outcomes are horrendous in around sustaining relationships, holding jobs, health and wellbeing. It has a massive impact on the negative. I want our kids to grow old so that they can sit down with their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren and have conversations about going to school and about being the best person you can be. When I graduate, I hopefully I want to get an apprenticeship for carpentry because that's what I want to do when I finish school. My biggest driving factor will probably be just to make my family proud and my family back at home, my mum and dad, my brothers. What makes me want to succeed is the support from my mum and my dad and people's negative words, like what they say, makes me want to do it harder and go again. Just go for it, like what's stopping you?